Hi folks, Pat here. Today I have one of my world famous late to the party tips. So some of you may have seen this before, which is why I call it a late to the party tip, but many of you I suspect have not. And so if you're familiar with the netstat command on the command line where you can look at what your PC is doing from a network standpoint, uh, then you're gonna really, really like this tool. So this is a tool that comes with Windows. And uh, so to get to it, we're gonna go to the task manager or click on the performance section. In Windows 10, I think there's a link down here to the resource monitor but in Windows 11 you have to go to the upper right here and choose a resource monitor and by default it's going to come up to the overview tab that's up here in the upper left here and there's a lot of decent information there if you were to expand that but that's not what I'm looking for I want to be a lot more granular I want to see what's going on on the PC so uh, and as far as the network goes so I'm going to click on the network tab and you can see here there's multiple tabs that you can look at and we're going to look at to start with the TCP connections so you'll notice right off the bat that this is very, very similar to what you get on the netstat command. It's going to get tell you what exe is running on the PC. It's going to tell you what the process ID is, the address of the local PC, the local port that it's communicating on, the remote server and the remote port that it's communicating on. And then uh, on top of that, you get to see packet loss. So it's giving you a, a a column here with packet loss. So if you have a really lousy uh, network connection, you'll see that you, you'll you get a lot of retransmits here in packet loss. That'll show up here. Um, so you'll know pretty quickly if you've got a real big problem with your network, you'll see packet loss. And then we can also see latency here. And so in this case, we've got Slack and the Slack server seems to be a little bit busy. So we've got a little bit of latency coming from the Slack server. And you can look at these, these other servers that are mostly Firefox, I think. They were getting a little bit of latency, which is typical of any internet server you have uh, it's predictable that you would have a little bit of latency on an internet server because you your traffic fluctuates so with this tool you should be able to see if you've got any network issues right away and you can see what applications are um, are making what connections so great little tool here to uh, to help troubleshoot what's going on with your PC and you can see what ports an application is actually using. So if you're trying to troubleshoot a firewall and you have an application that's not working, you can look at what ports it's trying to communicate on by um, selecting, by looking at that particular app. So if we, let's just uh, sort by this app right here. So Thunderbird, we can see, you would expect Thunderbird, or excuse me, yeah, Thunderbird is uh, is my email uh, app application. So Interestingly enough, 993 is a IMAP protocol, and I don't know if 59936 is an IMAP protocol or not, but that looks like what it's doing all of its communicating on. So it's it's my email server, and that's what uh, the ports that it's using uh, to communicate. And then Service Host is a an, is an application that is um, a Windows application and it's using uh, 443 to communicate. And you can see here that it's using 443 to communicate to the DNS server, my default DNS server, which is the Google DNS. We can see that Firefox, you would expect, it's a uh, web browser. It's communicating on 443, which is HTTPS. So we can see all of the ports that Firefox is communicating on. And uh, on the loopback, it's using a, a uh, 58294, which is a dynamic IP IP port that's being assigned by the PC. That's why it's on the loopback. Okay, so that gives you a really good idea of all the communication and uh, that each application is doing out uh, to something on the network. Now, if you want to know what your PC is actually uh, waiting to hear from, so we can look at the listening ports, and these are all the ports that your PC will respond to if some if some other application tries to connect to your PC, it's going to need to have an open port already on the PC, and so these are the piece the ports that it's listening to. So um, one two three is a Windows networking port. So is one three seven. Um, one three nine also Windows networking. What else do we have here? I should have uh, Team Viewer. Yeah, um, 
HP. There's a bunch of different applications out there on my PC, and, and it shows the, uh, the ports that it's listening on. So here's the process ID, and this is the port that it's open. So it's expecting some other app somewhere out on the network to try to connect to that particular port. It's ready and waiting for somebody to try to connect on that port. So you can see what ports are wide open on your on your PC as well. So there you go. That's a nice little networking tool. It gives you a lot of insight into what's happening on a PC and its network. Well, hope that helps. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.